What's up guys, Ryan Nye here. I just wanted to talk to you guys quick about the Potomac River KBF Trail Series event. Uh, just got home, just unpacking some stuff and just wanted to go over what I used and kind of what I was doing. I, um, I ended up winning day one of the trail series down there and really didn't didn't expect to i caught a few fish pre-fishing and kind of messing around during the week and then had an idea of where fish were going to be i just didn't know that the winning fish were going to be on be in that area um i really stuck to two baits i um in the morning i, I threw around this little little strike king little just a green pumpkin tube um with in this jig head here just a quarter ounce quarter ounce jig head um and a pretty pretty stout hook in that these actually my buddy jack tibbins makes these so they're they're pretty good hooks um pretty good jig heads they fit awesome inside that tube and that seemed to be the deal kind of early in the morning for me and then as the day went on um i really really just turned to a drop shot um throwing these these g finesse hooks the the best drop shot hooks you can buy in my opinion um i haven't found anything better uh throwing those in a one knot and using using um let's see using these these ones right here berkeley bottom hoppers um these are the bigger version actually but i um i had the smaller version for day one uh, i burned through them all <laughs> but i caught a ton of fish on them the biggest fish I caught that weekend came on that drop shot. Just a quarter ounce little drop shot weight and that hook on 10 pound Seaguar and Vizex. Um, that the line, I'm not sure if the, the 10 pound was really needed. I think you could have got away with heavier line if you wanted to. The water was pretty stained up, pretty dirty. Um, but really the key was just moving slow. You really had to slow down and just drag stuff around. Um, fish around you can go back and forth being tidal i really think that those fish they just keep repositioning on those on those um on those dock posts and that's what i fished all day long was just some dock posts and they just kept producing fish after fish after fish and i just kept sticking to that As you'll see in the video I, I really just I just slow down I I take my time and I pick them apart <clears throat> and I caught a ton of fish especially on that drop shot I really went to that and once I picked it up later in the day I never put it down um, but just really taking my time and fishing around those posts going back and forth um, I fished three dock slips all day long and just stuck to those the um, the old town awesome using that spot lock with the jog feature I, I really don't know if i could have positioned myself any better in any other boat um i would position on a post and then i would just jog over a little bit and reposition myself at the next post and then i would jog over and fish the dock a little bit and i jog over and i just kept doing that up and down these these little slips in the marinas and that feature of that boat i just really i really don't think i could have done with anything else
as far as actually catching the fish, I, I think that having a strong hook set, it's, you'll probably, some people will probably laugh at how hard I set the hook on a drop shot on these fish, but I really just didn't want them tied up in those posts. Um, once they got tied up in those posts, I just, I'm not sure you could have got them off. So I think setting the hook, pulling them out to the middle of that slip and then fighting them out there where there's not a lot to get hung up on was key. And the 10 pound line using a fairly light rod, just a cheap Abu Garcia rod. It, it's nothing special. Uh, it's definitely not a drop shot rod. It's a little, it's a little heavy for that, but the way that I was fishing the drop shot, I'm not even really casting it. I'm just pitching it around. Um, and those fish just relate to those posts there. Um, and it ended up being an awesome week.
Just get in. I, I just really need to thank KBF for hosting those events. It's phenomenal what they do and the guys that they get to fish these. You just fish against the best guys around and couldn't couldn't do that without them. Um, and Black Hall Outfitters and Old Town Canoes, I just got to send a huge thank you to those guys. Like I said before, that boat, I just really don't know that I could have done this that well in this tournament without that boat. Um, Enduro Power Lithium, those guys power me, power all my stuff, graphs, the puck, the um, the motor, everything, and never an issue that holds up awesome. Couldn't be happier with that. And just super happy that that was an awesome event and i hope you guys enjoyed the video um please feel free like comment subscribe um tell me what you think if you guys want to see other videos anything like that or just anything that you guys want to see um i really want to push the youtube thing and you know see see if we can get some more followers on that and see how that goes